Good evening. I had some feedback on Snippet Expander's next package um, PR to say that it would look it would be a lot easier if the project was using a single Go mod file, and that made me think: Why am I not using a Go mod file? A single one at the top level of the project, and I'm not sure why. I do remember. I had a bunch of problems as I was iterating on the project. Um, and I started off on a subdirectory, created a go mod, and then I created another one, another one. So it might be a case that I just didn't do the right thing when I moved from having a single binary to multiple, um, and then all the multiple projects as well. It was a long time ago when I started the project. Um, so I thought I might have a crack at seeing if I can build Snippet Expander using a single Go mod file. Uh, and therefore that should, in theory, remove the need for me to do all kinds of weirdness with um, like replacing paths and all this kind of stuff. And makes it a little bit more standard. So I'm going to give it a go. So here's Snip Expand. I think this is up to date. Yep. Uh, and that should include the Debian stuff so far, uh, which I'm taking a little break from uh, by doing this, obviously. Uh, but I'll get back to it. Need to finish it off. Um, so, what do we have so far? Uh, if I don't make clean. Um, and then I should bump up the uh, size a little bit there. There we go. Um, I need to find all the, the go mods. Uh, so at the moment, there isn't one here at the top. Whereas normally in a standard Go based project, you would have your Go mod and some at the top. I haven't got that. Mine are uh, just Go mod. They're all in each of the packages and um, commands. And supposedly that's not the way to do it. But so at the moment, Everything should build. I'll just check. Yep, everything's got OK. We know this because we've just been building it on Debian a bunch of times. Um, and the Debian build is working as well. But it would be interesting to see If I can use a single go mod, I'm not quite sure how I'll do that. Do I? I guess I could just remove all the existing ones. So everything built okay there. Let's do a quick test just in case I introduce something on the Debian side. should be okay um yeah maybe i just remove the go mods and go sums and then just try and create a new module at the top see what happens okay that worked let's clean up um, so we did find, let's do a remove on that as well. So what exec, oh, let's do a git rm, don't want to just remove them. So each file 
and then close off the statement. I think that's right. Yep, cool. And then I need to do the same for some. Okay. So they've all been deleted. Now, if I tried to make it, it would go, it would go bang. I don't want to do that because I might leave some rubbish around. So let's um, go mod in it. And then the project is git sr. And actually, let's double check. I'm going to be doing the right naming convention there. Uh, we'll do a get diff staged. See what we're doing. Yeah, so it's git source art enm Jones snippet expander. And I think that's the only thing. Oh, go 1.19. Yeah, need to remember that because I'm not using Go19 here, but the Debian, Debian is using that. Okay, that's the stable version. So git mod init, git sr hot, and then it was just that. Ian Jones, snippet x. Oh, <laughs> uh, go. I'll do. Okay. Right. So let's have a look at that. Right. Okay. Um, so we need to change that to mine. I knew that might be an issue. It says go mod tidy to add module requirements and sums. So is that going to find everything? In all the bits and bobs by, does it trawl? Let's see. Okay. All right, that's promising. That's found all the bits and bobs I'm using. So that's the flags test, obviously database, all the whale stuff. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's get rid of that annoying. So we've got two lumps here, we've got all the that's all the important top level stuff I ask for. And that's all the dependencies presumably from there. Okay. Fine. It's not showing any of my my own packages there in this project. So does it just like resolve that? That's... Should we just do a make? Oh. oh, did I not do a make clean? Let's do a clean all. And then we do a make. Oh, there's an error. No rule to make target go dot mod instead of expander. Oh, I bet I'm checking the go dot mod to see if it's changed as a dependency. Okay, right. 
uh, so in all of my sub things, we have got a make file. I might need to check that. Yeah, okay. So this is snippet expanded D. Um, I am checking this go mod and then the packages and the internal ones, but we don't need any of those. All we need is back the way to the top. Um, I'm going to put that in the buffer in my pasteboard. Let's just check what go mod has here. Yeah, so if that changes, we need to rebuild there. And that's the only thing. All right, let's look for go.mod just to make sure. Go mod tidy, okay. Oh. I might have to see whether I need to update any of those. It'd be interesting to see whether that works when it gets down there and what it updates because I really don't know um, okay so that's okay hopefully now all right same thing here let's actually look for go underscore mod Okay, what is this GUI? All right, this could be interesting, this one. Okay. Hopefully, okay. Same again. I know, where's this? Simp expand X. Oh, yeah, that's the Bala one. Okay, in the packages, no internal, this is. Yeah, internal package. There's nothing in there. Nothing in the manager. Paste. Service. Debus service and snip it okay make Uh, okay, so that worked, in theory. Okay, if I run command snippet expander snippet expander ping, that worked. Um, auto start, it's checked it fine, so that means it's doing file system stuff, okay. Um, to expand says it's on as well so that's done that one was okay if oh the fun one the GUI um, build bin 
that worked. Let's see if all the bits in. It does. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I'm tempted to do a make tidy. Let's see what that does. Okay. Didn't change anything. Well, I suppose that's good because it was actually brand new. The go mod. Uh, what if I do a make update depths? Okay, well, that's in theory made some changes then. How was it on now? Snippet expander GUI. It's taken a while. Now that's either struggling or doing a lot network or work and it's going to have to do a npm update as well okay it did do a bunch Now it's doing NPM. And site as well. Okay. So we've got some new package stuff there. Svelte is updated. Okay. So if I do a make now, I should need to build. Definitely in the front end there. All right, so to do more, so they must have updated the go mod then, for sure. Well, we know it did. And let's build that as well. So look at the go mod. I think that's okay. Right test. Um, let's try that. Let's try that. 
still works. And good. Okay. Well, I'm calling that a success. That shows that I can use a Go mod at the top level. Hmm. Hmm, okay. I think I'll uh, commit that. And then I'll push it. And we'll see if it actually builds properly in Nix and Debian. That'll be interesting. Good here. I was mucking about with environment variables uh, this least today evening. So I'll just let that go, I guess, and we'll see. Uh, that takes a while. How long does it take? It took about seven and a half moment. It's not really worth waiting around for that. I will call that done. And now I've got to think about how I might structure the next packages. But I would probably want to tag again as well before we do that. Or, I mean, I might set a particular version, like a dev version or something, but we'll see. Uh, that's something to think about after I've checked the builds. So, um, I think that's, that's enough for tonight. Um, thanks for watching. Till next time. Take care.